I can remember I applied for Google AdSense the same day I created my website. I just created both the website and Google AdSense because I learned that one way to make money from your website is through Google AdSense. But like you can tell, my application was rejected. I got my website approved like after seven months and as at then, I reapplied about four times. The funny thing is after then, I've created two other websites for myself and I've also created like six other websites for other people, actually my clients. And this website got AdSense approval in just 24 hours or two days max. So you don't just apply to Google AdSense because you have a website. There are things you need to do in order for your account to be accepted. In this video, I'll give you some few tips to get your website approved fast. Now, so tip number one. First, make sure your website is complete. I mean your website design and pages, make sure they are ready. There shouldn't be any page empty or with demo content and you should have at least 30 content before applying. If you don't have content on your website, there will be nothing that brings traffic to your website. And if you don't get traffic, you can't make money from your website. All right, tip number two. Make sure you get at least 20 visits from search engine daily. If you don't get visits, there's no point registering in the first place because you won't be earning anything. So just wait until your website has enough content and receives traffic from search engines. I understand you want to start making money as soon as possible, but if you don't have traffic, you won't make the money even when you have the Google AdSense account. All you'll be saying is like one to five cents a day. Does that make up to anything? All right, tip number three, create privacy policy and disclaimer page. This is very important. It's stated on AdSense policies and your privacy policy should indicate that you use cookies to track your audience and all that. If you don't know how to create these pages, you can just search Google. Just search for privacy policy generator and you can also search disclaimer page generator. And you find a lot of websites that will generate that for you for free. All you just have to do is copy. All you just have to do is copy and paste on your website. Don't worry about plagiarism because Google will ignore it. And normally, you should exclude your privacy policy and disclaimer page from pages search engines can visit. That's just the normal rule of thumb. You can do that from the SEO plugin you use or via your robots.txt file. Now, tip number four. Make sure your website comment section is not disabled. Your website must accept comments. I can remember that this was what I did last and my first website was accepted. I came across something like that you should give room for interaction with audience on one of Google's guide page. So if you don't have comments enabled on your website, make sure to do that. Now, tip number four, be patient. Let your blog grow first before applying. Especially news blogger. Most of you guys that own news blog, you know, those of you that want to be like Linda KG. If your traffic is from social media and with no search engine traffic, you might get your account disabled for invalid traffic when accepted. So make sure you, you are getting traffic from search engines before applying. Your primary traffic source should be search engine. Make sure traffic from social media does not exist does not exceed that of the search engine. Because Google would think that you are telling people from your social media or Facebook groups to come to your website and click on ads. You will battle with a lot of invalid traffic issues which may later result in your Google AdSense account getting banned. In all, your reason of creating Google AdSense is to get as many traffic as possible and make money from that traffic and not looking for tricks to just make money off AdSense without offering any value to Google advertisers. So th that's all I have for you in this video. I hope you will find the video helpful. Just try to make sure that you, you have satisfied all of the four tips that I've showed in this video. My name is Victor Smith. I will see you in the next one.